This is how to assess range movement of the hip joint. We're looking at two types of flexion, leg straight and leg bent, knee bent. So our goniometer placement, the center of the goniometer goes through the greater trochanter. So have a little palpation of that point. And that's our starting position. And then passively, we're gonna get the client's leg and take it into, passively, we're gonna take the client's leg into flexion. So where you start to feel that resistance, with the other hand, you're going to try and take that to the lateral knee joint line in that position. Once you've got that, the client can relax. Then you take your going your going the armature off to read, and we're on 80 degrees for that one. And the other one is knee flexion, hip flexion with knee flexion. So this is taking out the hamstrings out the equation. We take them to a point of resistance, which is about this point. And then the client holds their knee. So they hold that position. And now you have two hands to do the measurement. So exactly the same point from the greater trochanter. And we take it round to that lateral knee joint line. And here we have 125 hip flexion with knee flexion.